Hey guys, it's Woodsman Survival, and today we're going to be doing a review of the 1110 Tourniquet Holster, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so like I said, today we're going to be doing a review of the 1110 Tourniquet Holster. Now, I, before I get started with the review, I just want to say a couple things. Please make sure you have your post notifications turned on, because when I post a video, you will get alerted to that. Um, also, go check me out on Twitter at Woodsman Survival. Uh, I'll post some pictures every once in a while. I'll give updates in case I don't post or something. Got a couple cool <clears throat> pictures of a bobcat on our trail cam. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, like, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Okay, guys, I got this holster off of Amazon for $42.99. They do have four different variations of this holster. So, uh, the first one that they have is a rescue orange. So, the whole holster is going to be uh, a bright orange color. Now, then they have three, di three different variations of the black. They have a blue cross. So, this is a PVC. They call it a... It's the, like a coating on it. They call it a PVC patch. Uh, they have it in a blue cross, a gray cross, and an orange cross. Now, I wish they did offer it in a red one just because it's uh, medical equipment. But I've, I went with the blue cross. And with four stars, this holster... Get Sorry, with 141 reviews, this holster gets four stars. And then I will leave a link to this uh, on Amazon. So, what's going to come with it? It's going to come in this box right here. Uh, so, it, it spells out an 11, and then you got the number 10. So, 1110. What I really liked about this holster was it's made in the USA. And it says, for the cat tourniquet. That's what this holster is for. You can't have, like, a wide tourniquet or a rat tourniquet or anything like that it has to be a, a cat uh so i know 42 43 dollars is pretty expensive but if you have the money like if you're buying uh putting together a first aid kit or anything or if you want to carry this on your belt that that's how i carry this uh i personally think the money is well worth it you could just buy you know a one made out of a different material that's a lot cheaper than okay guys then the the dimensions on this holster it is four and a half this way two and a half this way and two and a half this way so also some other specs on it uh it's and it says on amazon it's injection molded nylon case the multiple mounting positions so this pops open. This is how you get it on your belt. Uh, and these different, these three screws right here. You can put these in all these different places, and it's got that in the inside just like that. And so you can have it upside down. I carry it just like this on my belt. You can flip that, put it upside down, vertical, sideways, however you want. Okay, guys, I'm sorry I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but obviously it comes in this box, and then inside, when you open it up, you're going to have this business card. It'll uh, just have some information about it. It's got their website and phone number on there. Then another thing that I really liked about this is it comes with lock, lock uh, thread locker. I was going to call it Loctite. Um, but basically, if you're a police officer, and you carry this on your belt every single day, you're going to want to dip the screws in this, and it's going to, uh, like, your screws might loosen up and come out. I haven't had that happen to me, uh, but that will just prevent it. This stuff is really, really great, and I was happy that they, uh, sent this. So, it'll fit on a two and a fourth inch belt. So, that is what I have, or it'll fit up to that, but this is the width of my belt. Now, it does have these little inserts right here, in case you have a thicker or thinner belt. So, basically, uh, I just have like a little, this is like my old belt. It's a just a cheap one from Walmart. So, you see that'll rattle around if you wear this on here. So, you just pull one of these inserts out, and... <clears throat> it has that little tab right there, and you're going to put it in there, and then you're, it won't rattle around when you carry it. So I really like that. Then again right here it says, sorry I can't get it to focus, made in the USA. 
then down here is their 1110 again it's just probably made in the USA now how you put this on your belt is you can either have leave this closed all the time or you can just stud your belt through there when it's closed or what I do is if we go out somewhere I'll put my stuff on and I'll just leave my knife and my belt on and I'll take this thing off if we're gonna go somewhere again all I have to do is go into my room open this up slide this down on my belt close that and close that and it's back on my belt and what this thing is I'm not really sure what the purpose of it is but it's kind of like a I don't know, like a security piece or something, because if you push it in these tabs and you pull out, that's how you open it. You could not do that when it's like that. <clears throat> then, another thing I like about this, it has a drain hole right here, so if you get water here in here, that will leak out. Um, when you first get this, if your tourniquet is not used to being in a Kydex or nylon holster, it'll be kind of hard to get in there at first. This is my tourniquet right here. And you can kind of tell that it comes up right here, and it's a fatter right here. And that's because when you put this in here, it's really hard the first couple times. What you do is you grab the two plastic pieces right here, and what I do is shove it in there like that. And I honestly did struggle with this for about five minutes, but really what you do is just move it around, work it around, and then... This is the part where it becomes easier. These pieces of this is a piece of plastic right here. You just push those behind it, and then you have a frame. <laughs> and then that how your that's how your tourniquet sits in there. Okay, guys. So another thing I like about this holster is because there's no flaps or anything holding it in on top. It's rapid deployment. So when you have it on the side of you, you can have this out in less than seconds. With one that had Velcro, you have to pull the Velcro strap up, then pull it out. This you can get out really, really quick. So this is going to end my review of the 1110 Cat Tourniquet case. Uh, if you're looking to buy a case and you don't mind how expensive this is, I would highly re recommend buying this case. I've been, been very pleased with it. Okay guys, so don't hesitate to leave any comments. Please like this video. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're not already a subscriber to me and you want to be, click right over here. If you want to check out my last video, click right up there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.